hello and welcome back and today we want to continue looking at the noise that hard drives make we've been looking at lots of drives in both nas and high class server environments and ultimately a number of you are seeing drives such as the seagate Ironwolf series in pro arriving at a decent enough price that even though you're not running a rack mount you are thinking about putting them in a two bay a four bay or an eight bay desktop and i will always say that enterprise level drives are they give you tremendous performance tremendous capacity and tremendous robustness of five-year warranties and more they do generate a lot more noise and it's something i've said on the channel for a number of years so to back this up i'm going through loads and loads and loads of different hard drives and showing you guys two things one a little bit of performance although the performance is relative of course because we are using single drives when they are designed through large scale rack mount environments so as good as the performance might be sometimes or as bad as the performance might be Bear in mind, these are single drives that were originally designed for larger arrays. But the second thing we want to look at is, of course, noise, which is that thing that's coming out of my mouth right now, according to the decibel meter. Now, we are going to be looking at not only the noise these drives generate in terms of volume, but the actual drive noise itself. So to do that, this is a third video that I've recorded in this series, which is probably going to be like 18 videos long. Um, we're using a decibel meter, we have got a silent dock there at the top of the screen, and we're going to be testing, as mentioned, the Iron Wolf Pro NAS drive. This is the ST14000NE0008 Iron Wolf Pro drive. We featured it on a number of videos in the past, and today we're going to be testing it for its audio. It is an enterprise class drive it's got that wonderful ceiling all the way around it and again just to put that into perspective the way this drive is sealed here is a standard class 4tb drive look at the way these two drives are designed and it's just a bigger more sealed arrangement because of that helo seal technology and other kind of magnetic recording technique now we are going to be doing this in a number of different ways. And as mentioned in my other videos, let's go through the disclaimers. I'm going to feature it in every video, so fast forward every two uh, two minutes if you like. We are using a decibel or audio monitor there on the side of the screen. It's not some £1,000 piece of equipment. Again, I'm not sure how popular these videos are going to be, so we're going to have to cut a few corners as we go along. But this will give you an idea about these drives. As we can see straight away, the DB monitor, if I'm silent for a second... The noise there is pretty low. If we have a look, we've got that down to just breathing or almost quiet level. So once again, uh, there will be the odd bit of traffic behind me. I can't help that. Um, it's also worth highlighting during the course of this video that I have calibrated this because if I leave this at no calibration whatsoever and leave it in the open field um, of recording, this is what we have. which, of course, corresponds, as we can see, to a quiet room. Which is good, but we want to extrapolate the noise from the drive. And that is why we are calibrating this audio today at minus 25. This will allow us to do a better job of identifying the noise of the drives out of the ambient environment. Now, we are also using a separate mic for this audio testing from the mic that I'm using over here. And it's also worth highlighting that the noise you hear from the drive, I am going to exaggerate ever so slightly in post. The reason I'm doing that is so you can identify the noise, not just the ambient numbers that are bouncing there on the side of the screen, but also the actual noise itself, how and when it happens. And then, because if you are using lots of these drives in a NAS environment, the noise you're going to hear will not be dissimilar. So, the 14 TB drive. Before we install it inside, I'm going to show you that this uh, Sabrant USB 3 dock that we're using for today's testing um, is whisper quiet. So we're just going to go ahead and turn it on. So as you see, you're not really going to notice that dock environment over the drive. It has no internal fan, it has practically no electronic hum. It's perfect for these tests. Now I've already added this drive in the background. I've used disk part and we've already formatted it and loads of drives recently uh, for these tests. So let's go ahead and insert this drive. 
So now we've got the drive inside. We're going to get ready to boot this drive for the very first time. We are using um, OBS screen recording, but that should still pick up everything from the multiple feeds that we're running at once. And I'm going to go ahead and start this drive up, and then I'm going to be silent for the better part of 30 to 40 seconds, because the spin-up noise is probably one of the most noticeable degrees of any enterprise drive. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. So again, that noise there, get used to it. Now bear in mind, of course, these drives are going to be, as mentioned, in that large-scale RAID environment, so they are not designed to be quiet. So we can't really criticize a drive for this, when, particularly when it's a Pro Series designed for up to 24 bays of storage. These are not designed for quiet machines. In most cases, the machines they are going in Rack mount, dual redundant, five cooling system, uh, rack mount devices, you're never going to hear that drive, so bear that in mind. Now, as mentioned, we've already added the drive, so it will have already appeared as soon as we've connected the drive there, as you can see on screen. So the first thing we want to do is run that AJA performance benchmark. I'm going to try and move things around the screen, but ultimately, if something's going to get covered, it's going to be me. So we'll pop that there, and I'll sort of peep out from behind it. Why not? Um, so first thing we want to do is that AJA performance test. Again, we are testing the E drive there. We're doing a 4 gig test file. We're going to open up the disk capture here. Now, again, this isn't going to tax the drive because we're not running simultaneous read-write action as you would find in a server. We're running a single lane of activity on this disk. So do bear that in mind. Let's go ahead and click Start. So with the exception of the occasional click, it's quite a clear, nice, transparent, quiet drive. So let's run, let's stop that test there. More astute of you may have noticed I tried to hold my breath throughout that whole thing, and that did not go well for me. Remarkably unfit during this pandemic, never a good sign. So let's go into our next test, and what we're going to do is go into our external drive that's got 240 gig of data. We're going to go ahead and copy all of that. Once again, Mischief Movie Night, recommend it, check it out. Um, so we're going to go from there back into this drive here. And for those that are wondering if uh, when this drive is being active, do look at the little blue light there on the drive enclosure, which will show activity throughout this whole thing. So what we're going to do is create a new folder here, and then we're going to copy into uh, that new folder, that 240 gig of data. Now, we're not going to let it finish. We're going to do all 240 gig. We're just going to let it run for a minute or two just to show the activity of that right action. This is coming from a SATA SSD inside this system onto this single hard drive. So again, that speed is probably gonna max out at that 230 to 260 meg mark, but it's the test afterwards with um, simultaneous read-write activity, which you're probably gonna like the most. But let's go ahead and click paste, confirm that we're gonna do this, and go.
And that should just about do it. As you can see, the activity's not been too wild. There's been the odd spike there on the graph, but nothing too much to worry about there. But now, now we've got the data inside there. We can have a look how much data's inside. We can see there just, uh, just over 11 gig of data. So not massive. And I'm well aware that the testing we're doing today would be different on a full drive. We will be repeating all these tests on at least 50 to 70% capacity filled drives later on. But for now, let's click copy, and we're going to move over back into the main directory of this drive. We're then going to create a new folder here, again, new folder two. And in this folder, we're going to copy that same data from the drive back onto the drive. So again, this is going to be 11, 12 gig of data that's being read and written to within the same drive. Now, bear in mind, this means, move over here, this means that you are not going to see that performance benchmark of over 200 megs. You just won't. This is a hard drive, not an SSD. It's not designed for simultaneous read-write actions. The IOPS aren't high enough ratings on these sort of things. They are designed to get that kind of preferred read-write um, uh, activity. That's where your RAID configurations come in. We aren't looking at performance here. We're looking at noise in this particular test. So let's go ahead and click Paste. So it must have already become wildly apparent that that drive and the way it's making noise there, this is where that activity, that heavy audio that we talk about, the increased decibel level of enterprise level drives live in server environments with the simultaneous read-write activity. Once again. Now, to put that into perspective, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cease this operation and then we're going to power down the drive dock. Just to give you an, a sense of relativity between the noise the drive is making and the lack of it completely, because we may have lost our objectivity up to this point. So for now, what I'm going to do is stop the operation and then I'm going to turn off the drive and then be quiet for about 30 seconds. So now you can see that noise has gone down. You can certainly notice the difference, even at this objectivity and even without the audio that you are hearing right now. So once again, we're going to spin that drive up. I'm going to end it on the spin up of this drive just to remind you about the spin up noise of this drive. And there you have it. Whew, lots of breath holding in this video. So that has been our audio testing of that Seagate Ironwall 14TB Pro Series drive. They are pro for a reason. They give you the performance, but they are designed for pro systems. So therefore, noise consideration kind of go to the back of the queue. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Click like if you have and subscribe to learn more. We'll be looking at loads more drives, pro, non-pro, NAS and non-NAS. They help you guys decide if you are particularly sensitive to noise, which is the best drive for you. So stay tuned for those. But otherwise, click like, click subscribe because it helps the channel. And I will see you next time.